OK, going back to our top story now, and rebel forces in Tigray say they've seized a major town in a new offensive in Ethiopia. Catherine Soy joins us now on the line from Humera in the Tigray region. Catherine, what's the latest on the ground? Tell us where you are now. Well, what we're hearing is that the TDF, that's the Tigray Defence Forces, are making quick advance. Uh, that's the southern border region. Uh, we are told they took a town called Korem. It's not clear whether they um, are in full control of Alamata. That's one of the towns uh, in Tigray. Um, we have seen video, very difficult to verify independently this video because communication is still down in many parts of Tigray, but we have seen a video of what appears to be Ethiopian forces and Amhara special forces uh, withdrawing from that town, um, and this is all in line. We've been uh, hearing from the Tigrayan leadership, from the uh, defense forces, who are saying that they're now prioritizing in the south and the west, which are still disputed and which are still being controlled mostly by Amhara forces. They're saying that's their land and that's what they want to retake. Areas like where I am um, in Humera before November, uh, Humera and another town called Maikadra was uh, uh, in, in the control, uh, was uh, being administered uh, by the Tigrayan regional force. Uh, Conflict. Many Tigrayans fled these areas. Uh, the areas are being controlled by Amhara forces. Um, my Kadra, uh, which is about 30, uh, 20 kilometers from uh, Humera, where I am, is a town where some of the worst atrocities against uh, civilians took place in November. More than 600 people came or were killed, most of them laborers um, who have come from different parts of Amhara um, to have a sesame from firms and mainly belong belonged to uh, Tigrayan farmers. Uh, Amharas here blame um, the Tigrayan fighters for those killings. Many of the Tigrayans fled to Sudan. Uh, if you speak to them there, they blame uh, and its militia of also, you know, forcing out them out of this region. So the Tigrayan forces saying they're also heading uh, west. Uh, that's where we are. Um, there's been a lot of nerves. Um, uh, Amharic forces we've been interacting with, but they're also saying that this land belongs to them and they will not go without a fight. Okay, uh, Catherine, we are having a little bit of trouble hearing you, but just while we've got you, because I know our communications are intermittent, can you just quickly remind our audience how this all started? Uh, yes, the communication here is quite problematic. I'm right now using a satellite phone. It's the only stable network that can be used. Uh, network, communication network has been cut off in most of these areas. Very difficult to get through to anything. But this is a conflict really that started in early November. Uh, federal troops were sent uh, to Tigray. Uh, at the time, the government was saying uh, that uh, Tigrayan forces had attacked a military base. Since then, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed and his administration also said that uh, the uh, Tigrayan leadership uh, was using money siphoned from the federal government to recruit and train militia uh, to destabilize the rest of the country. And so they were a danger uh, country. That's why the troops went in. Um, the war was declared over by the government on the 28th of November. But we are increasingly are seeing evidence of uh, atrocities that have been committed in those areas. Uh, hundreds of people have been killed, many millions uh, internally. Some have fled uh, to Sudan. Uh, the UN says uh, up to 400,000 people in Tigray are in famine-like conditions. 1.8 million of them are on the brink of famine. Um, uh, a very big problem of humanitarians accessing some of these people, even if the government mm. has said that it has opened uh, its uh, airspace in Tigray for humanitarian flights so that people can get help mm. um, in, in areas like where I am in the West uh, that were controlled, uh, that, were, that the Tigrayan uh, regional administration was um, in charge of. Many Tigrayans have fled as well. I'm hard complaining um, of, you know, atrocities, com uh, the TDF, the Tigrayan Defense Forces. So all sides, all communities you talk to are accusing each other, are accusing each other's forces of committing these atrocities. So the situation 
very dire um, in Tigray and areas around Tigray. And now with the TDF advancing, there's a lot of concern, especially here in the West, uh, where people, uh, where the, you know, the TDF has been saying that um, it's heading to a lot of nervousness um, with of the course. defense force, with the special forces, the Amhara. Mm. You're saying, like I said, that they will not go it is, fight, that this land also belongs to them. It is, of course, uh, you know, civilians getting caught up in this, as you say. Hey, thank you very much uh, for that update there, Catherine Soy, live uh, for us from Humera in the Tigray region.